Alright, we are Fat Bee Man here back in the Bee Lab. We have a new student come all the way down from the great state of Illinois to learn beekeeping. William is running about 60 hives doing honey. He told me he wasn't going to do honey no more. What we're doing is we're making our own wax cups. And what William is doing is dipping. Let me get us a little close up here. We're using our wax cups that we're making ourselves. And we try not to buy nothing. And what we do is we dip it, I mean, two to three times. We want to get our cups about a quarter of an inch high. We got us our little doll rods, and I'm using five sixteenths. So what we're doing is just dipping them in there and just giving them a quarter turn, turn. Pull them right off. We're lining up a bunch of them, and as you can see, they're not hard to make. This is versus the plastic one, which I care not to use. And if you make a mistake, these could go back in the melting pot and you can make some more. This is the most natural way to make cell cups. And it's the most economical way. Now my method of making queens is cutting cells, but I'm teaching this here as a grafting class, so the next one we'll do a little video on mounting the cells on your bars. And the bars, we use three bars to a frame. Put two frames to a box and that way we'll have 90 cells and if we get a hundred percent we'll have 90, but a lot of times we'll get 65 to 75 cells. Keep that normal person, average person busy. William's a young beekeeper, just getting started. He's doing it full time. He's going to be a commercial student, be coming down here several times. He'll be in the state of Illinois. If you have nukes you need, you've got queens you need, look William up. He'll fix you right up. Very knowledgeable. After he comes down here long enough, I'll have him brainwashed and he'll be charging you for classes up there. You probably notice William talks too much. <laughs> Wave to everybody here, William. Hey, how's it going, everybody? <laughs> Come all the way down to Georgia to learn beekeeping. Can you believe that? And I actually tried to tell him to find someone local. Save that drive. We have people coming here from Australia last, and I have a couple coming down from New Zealand. Early spring, we had one fellow from Japan come over, and... Uh, watching and learning my techniques here. Not that I'm the only one, there's many, many people out there can teach you the same thing I can teach you. Nothing difficult, nothing hard. Now when you're pulling your cells off, if you get a bad one and don't look good, you can put it right back into your, your melting pot. And the trick to this is have your a little dish of water, keep your doll rods wet, Keep your wax to where it's just about ready to solidify. If you get it too hot, then your, uh, your wax is not going to stay on your doll rod to make it too thin. You always want to build you a good base up on these, these wax cups because this is what you're going to graft your larvas into and you don't want them being real fragile because you've got to handle them, you've got to mount them. All right, I'm going to stop, and then when we get to mounting these things, we'll go to the part two of this, and that'll be mounting cell cups on a bar, and then we'll go from that point to the next step.